I got into resin to begin with because I was actually looking for something that embodied the language of color. It wasn't glass, it wasn't painting, it was sculpture, it just was color. When I realized that was the material that I wanted to work with, it was about you know, how do I learn how to do it. And it was a lot of trial and error, and I spent years doing poly. I was constantly smelling like a toxic waste dump. I found entropy because I needed a casting resin that could go super thick and we worked together for a number of years and with that I have just fallen in love with this material. Poly has its limits. With this material I have yet to even scratch the surface on what I think is capable and I've been using it for 10 years. I mean there's just so much possibilities that you can do with this. It, my mind goes bananas, and I absolutely love that. Every artist is always making a self-portrait of themselves, ultimately. But at the end of the day, this is who I am and this is what I do. I've tried lots of different things. This is the best way that I have found that I can contribute back to the community. And this is my function, this is my role. And trust me, I could be doing some other job making a whole hell lot more money, which I've done before, but I love this job. Growing up in Alaska, you always were doing stuff, whether that's fishing or hiking or, you know, I grew up building houses and cutting trails and you just always were working with your hands. You don't make things that are ephemeral. You don't make, there's no, junk is not a, a normal thing. You use everything that you possibly have because you just simply don't have access to everything else. Um, you don't have this idea of just throwing stuff away. More importantly, as I grew older, I realized that it was easier for me to communicate by making something or creating something that was through the visual language as opposed to speaking of it. Very few times nowadays do you have the opportunity to be fully engaged in exactly what you are doing. And when I'm making these objects, that mindfulness, I think, translates into the tangibility and the objectivity of the work because that is also what I'm trying to get the viewer to engage, is to not be distracted and to fall in and pause and engage with the work itself. And hopefully the message of that work will translate into their real life. I think about my work as an artifact because it is a not only a moment in time that we're dealing with conceptually, but also a portrait or a fragment of who and what we are today so that later in the future we have a better understanding of who we are for tomorrow. You know, one of the ways that I always remember things is what's the story that connects to whatever you're doing. And when I first met Desi and Ray, it was this idea of two brothers wanting to make a product that made the sports that they loved more sustainable. So we immediately have this connection of, oh, you know, we like surfing, we like skiing, snowboarding. When you're working with people who share similar values, of course you want to get behind it. I mean, it makes it simple. We can't just be making products to make products. We have to be completely conscientious of the next generation and the generation after that. I mean, 
I'm not necessarily making pieces for now. I'm making pieces for 100 to 200 years from now. And when you put that time and thoughtfulness into the work, it always lasts and it's always better. I get a lot of questions about my process and people want to know details and I say, well, it's real simple. It's just hard work and magic. The studio does become like an alchemist shop. You are mixing, grinding, creating all of these things that all of a sudden it's then poof. But like any witch's brew, it takes days to get everything into place. The resin, one of the key features and properties of, the, of that material is it allows for very long time periods, which allows you to bring the work, nuance the work, play with the work over longer periods. Whereas a traditional resin is typically 30, 60, 90 minutes, where I'm more long just on a single pour, could take three days. And with that, that just simply takes time. But with that, you're making a more resonating artifact. Being cognizant of the environment and understanding that any action that we do has re repercussion. Now that I'm a father, it means a lot to me. Almost all of my inspiration comes from the environment. So why not ensure that that source material is gonna be around for a long time? I go out and I find these experiences in the world, in the landscape, retranslate them into these tangible objects with the hopes that I can invoke that emotion in not only into the viewer, but inspire them to go out and find their own experiences that will then do the same thing and inspire the next and inspire the next. Because if you are going to make a difference, that's how it works. I have hundreds of notebooks filled with ideas and there's just simply not enough time. And I could tell you right now if I didn't have to eat, if I didn't have to sleep, go home and love my family, I would never leave this place because I love my job. And all I can think about is not necessarily bigger is better and more is better, but I do know that like the resin itself, this is just the tip of the iceberg. And right now, the opportunities seem virtually limitless. <laughs>